I did. Oh, you ready to get this bread today? Hell yeah, dude. Mess them up. Listen to this. Mess them up. Let's freaking you mess them change, up. Dude. You, you <laughs> shaved it off. Bro, you look different, man. <laughs> he looks real. Gone. Yeah. Oh, Bro, how you feel? It's like a new man. Oof, right. not, not good, man. Not good. Yeah. Trash until you get that nine. This is as good as time as any for a big fish to show up. Our very last day in Mexico starts right now. This is the morning of, and I think everyone is willing and ready to crank them in the a.m. and the p.m. We're not even gonna come in for lunch today. It's gonna be a straight six to five grind, and I'm hoping we prevail. All of us, I want all of us to catch big fish. Big ones only. My first fish of the day on a spinner bug. The right kind of bite, just not the right kind of fish. Okay, there we have it. Day number three, Comodero. Bang, bang. It would be an amazing place for a fish to suspend on. Good top water spot too. There's a the fish. Pretty good one. Pretty good one, yep. Pretty good one, dude. Yep, pretty net? good one. Yep, maybe. Net? Yep, net, 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 net. Oh, that's net, 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 net. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's a massive that's fish. It's oh in the brush. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a tank. That's a tank, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, no, let's oh get him. Let's get him. I got it, I got it, I got it. Thank you. That's a giant. That's okay. A tank. That's what's up. I don't know how big, man. That's, that's could it be? Do you think it could beat nine? I don't know. It might I, be like. It's, I think it's an eight. I think it's an eight for it's sure. A, a Woo! That is what's up. I thought it was little, bro. It, it yeah, ate like yeah. every single little fish I've really? caught this trip. Yes. Yeah, bro, we were about to move. Yeah, we were just. You were like, yo, let's go ditch this yeah, yeah, yeah. bunk ass spot. <laughs> yeah. That's a tank. <laughs> okay, let's get a weight on this guy. Yep. Eight, two, five. Eight, two, eight a quarter. That's my biggest fish of the trip, baby. Look at that <laughs> tank. That's a stud. Bro, look at his bottom fin. It's like gold. That's sick. Yeah. Absolute stud. Yeah, man. That is the fish that really has made the trip. Unbelievable, man. I did not see that coming. There she goes. Crack and crawl with the jig. Put her there, man. Thank you, boys. That was dope. Thanks, Carlos. Wow. Let's go get some more. There's a big one. Oh, not a big one. Just an okay one. Just a okay one. Not bad, probably about a two pounder. Good stuff, I'm not sure if you guys are noticing, but I'm kind of going in between. Oh, are you recording? Yeah. Hey, what's up, dog? <laughs> Flair and I are rotating between throwing the spinner bait and the jig. It seems to be the tactic this entire week. We just recently started throwing the spinner bait this trip in the later half, but uh, it's really coming to play in the after aftermath of fishing for the past two days. You know, they've been bigger than this, but it's, it's like good to get something that's just not ridiculously small. Not too shabby. What's that noise? I think we hit a log. There she goes, back in the water. Big splash. 12 out here? Yeah. That's where catching like, right? <sighs> hey guys, this is what a Commodore laydown looks like. Jesus, Jesus, man. I'm trying to get my spinnerbait back, and I decided I was pulling, it's gonna pop a whole fucking tree. You wanna help me out, dog? <laughs> what do you need? Wow, that was the biggest laydown I've ever pulled out, and that's why you fish 25 pound flora, folks. Thank you. Gross. I'm panting now. I'll take this sweatshirt off. Not bad at all. Oh, I needed a wake up call. There we go. Come here. Man, if I haven't mentioned that it's slow at all this trip, I'll do it again. It's pretty slow. And on top of the fishing being pretty slow, guess what? I am, I'm getting a little sick. I think I ate some uh, some dusty trees though this morning. My stomach 
feels about as good as this fishing is. And um, I'm just using every inch of my energy right now to continue to throw this fitter bait. I'm not doing so good. And on top of that, uh, this might have been our, well, like how, like the last fish was like, what, three hours ago? Yeah, yeah, easily. <sighs> Gotta cherish these moments because these guys are few and far between. Sorry. <laughs> spinnerbait. More spinnerbait action. Okay. Flash forward to a few days after my Mexico trip. I don't think I have to say it, but you can probably tell. I'm not in Mexico anymore. I hate, absolutely despise when videos end on such a weird, inconsistent note. The thing is, is when I make videos, I wanna make it a storyline, I wanna make it flow, I wanna make something really awesome for you. But here's basically what happened when I released that fish. I'm not sure if you guys were paying attention, but throughout the video, I was hinting that I just like kinda feel kinda wheezy, like I don't feel good. And that progressed into something that I've never felt before in my entire life. Now, I've been to Africa, I've been to the Amazon, I've been to uh, like Bali. I've been in many, many places in which I could, you know, pick up a cold that I never picked up before or eaten something that didn't sit well with me. And I've never, ever in my entire life gotten sick until this day right here. I don't know if you guys can tell either, but Wes is also in the back and he's filming some videos for the Guggen Squad. He himself was also feeling pretty nasty too. So we progressively got worse as the day continued around 12 p.m. I hit the floor of the boat and did not wake up until 5 p.m. I've never felt anything like this before. Can't even exaggerate. It was just such a weird feeling. It felt like I was being drained of my life. So after we got back from the boat, I was like shaking. I almost wish I would have filmed some of it because I looked like a hysterical mess. I was like shaking. My stomach was on fire. I was hot. I could definitely tell I had a fever. Meanwhile, it's like, you know, 60 degrees out. Like it's not that bad out and I just feel like something is seriously wrong. And you're three hours from any hospital. So it's kind of a scary thing to, to feel or, or think about when you know, you're know you that sick and you're that far away from like actual civilization. We get back to the cabin, it's 5 p.m. I hit the bed and I don't wake up until like 7 a.m. the next morning. And here's the weird part. I woke up at 7 a.m. and I felt perfectly fine as if nothing had happened in the first place. And at that point, the trip was over and I felt really crummy. I was like, oh my God, I never did a wrap up. I caught this eight pound bass. This really sucks. And I felt like my whole story was ruined. But at the very least, I I really want to take this moment here in freaking Ontario, Canada to touch base with you guys and let you know what happened, why I stopped recording. It sucks, but it happens. And this is definitely the first time I've ever gotten this sick while recording a video. But anyway, I hope you guys understand um, my apologies. I guess on the bright side in the past six days, I've been filming here in this winter wonderland with my buddy Spencer and Marcel who uh, filmed the whole endeavor. And we got some insane content for you guys. Like you have no idea. Like look at all this gear that we brought for a week's worth of fishing. And I think that's about all I have to say. I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Stay safe, stay warm. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.